All right, so here we're gonna calibrate a monitor four slash monitor four S style uh, variable flow pump. Once we have uh, everything straight with getting the swing arm to a position that we'd like, remembering that the direction that this is moving or angle towards is the direction that the flow goes out. Once we have that all straightened up, we just make sure that on the pump that we have it set to override, and which it already is. And then we will first prime the pump to make sure that we get all the fluid. And as you can see, we're pushing fluid. So we're good there. So the first thing we do is once we have logged into our monitor 4 slash 4S handheld, if you have the black and white one, it's the same idea, but then there's also the color ones as well. But if we scroll all the way down to calibrate, and then we press F1, it'll begin doing some pumping action here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to measure chemical that's coming out of the end of the tube for a, pro for a period of one minute. So we have a graduated cylinder and we have a stopwatch. So what you're noticing right now is while this thing's uh, spilling out chemical, on the handheld you can see that we have a pump PPS or pulses per second. This is an indication of the RPMs, or actually pulses per second, that's going on inside the pump. Alright, and we uh, fold it up here. Looks like we got uh, 550 milliliters in our graduated cylinder. that back into the tank. And so what we do now is we take our 550 oops, milliliters and we're going to divide that by 29.57 and so that gives us a value of 18.6, we'll say, uh, ounces in a minute. So on our handheld, we'll type in 18.6 and press enter. And now you hear that the uh, pump throttled down because now we're going to do our mid calibration rate. So we're going to do another minute time here. In calibration. So as you can see on the handheld, the pulses per second drop from those high 200s down to right now at 131. Now if we found out when we did that high calibration that we were getting a rate that would be we'll just say more than our 20 mile an hour spray rate would allow for, then we would go in and do the high calibration over again after readjusting the wet ends angle to make it accommodate our needs. But in this case, uh, we're trying to target an eight ounce a minute at 10 mile an hour rate, which would be 16 ounces a minute at 20 mile an hour. And obviously at 18, 18 is greater than 16, so we're good. All right, we're coming up here on a minute. All right. I'm not sure if you can see that here, but we're getting about 312 ounces, or sorry, not ounces, uh, 312 milliliters. So we'll go into our calculator here. 312, divide that by 29.57, and that gives us 10.55 ounces. So on our handheld here, type in 
0.55 and press enter. And now we're going to do our low calibration. Right now all we're getting is a trickle, but that's the whole point of a low calibration. So we'll do another measure of 10 minutes, or 10 minutes, another measure of a minute, sorry. Let's see what we get for flow. As you can see now, the uh, pulses per second has dropped down to a meager 54. And you can just see that it's just barely trickling in there, which that's to be expected for low calibration. Low calibration is kind of a way to identify also the bottom end of what your pump is going to try to do in a given spray situation. So right here we're probably going to get something like, I don't know, 4 ounces a minute or whatever. Uh, and whatever that ends up being, that's the minimum that pump's going to be able to do reliably uh, in a given calibration. But if we're spraying at 8 ounces a minute at 10 mile an hour, and uh, we got our cutoff speed to 5 mile an hour for our low end, that's four ounces a minute, so that's within spec. We'll be doing good. All right, we're about to come up here on a minute. All right, I don't know if you can see that here, but we got about uh, 126? Looks like 126 milliliters. So stop. And so we'll just do our division again. So one, two, six. And we'll divide that by 29.57. And that gives us 4.26. So if we type in here, 4.26 and press enter, that will be the end of the calibration. Now, when you have that calibration completed from pumping, it gives you the option here to demonstrate the slope of that spray curve or pump curve. If you press F2, as it indicates there, you'll see that you get a line. Let's see if we can get that to focus really well. But in that line, you notice how there's a slight dip on the bottom? That's what you want to see. It'll be close to a straight line, but there should be a dip that goes this way. If you happen to see the dip go this way, then that's an indication that you have air in the lines and you'll want to do something about that, tightening your fittings or checking your O-rings or your chemical bowl filter. But anyways, that's the process for calibration. Let me know if you have any questions. And if you do, don't be afraid to call your Adapco service techs. We're at 855-782-3378. Thanks.